Yo, this is Merlin. Welcome to my channel, man. If you're not subbing, hit that sub button right now. Because today we got the Super Awakened Pierce Raid team. Forget King Bet, forget Old Rush. We got the Super Awakened Pierce Raid team, guys. We're about to have so much fun in PvP using this team. Oh my god, I, I went kind of broke with um, SSR coins trying to make this team. Oh my god. Yo, S Super Awakened is so well heavy. Oh my god, you can't even have fun teams unless you got to have Super Awakened on everyone. Like, we, like, oh my god, guys, we're gonna be using this first rate team, man. Oh my god, don't get me started on a super awakening. But we're gonna use this team. Um, Blue Demelli isn't using pure straight on his gear just for CT purposes. Um, I probably can if I really wanted to, but I'm just gonna stick with attack, see how much it does for me. Um, a lot of units don't run red cane, they usually have Elizabeth to um block out Blue Demelli attack, anyways. Or maybe I should and just use something like hype defense to out CC people. I'm gonna try that. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put Pierce Ray, so he's using half Pierce. And I'm gonna try to use hype defense hype food or something to out CC people or attack food. And then my blue Lilia, she's hype defense. Using Pierce Ray, Pierce Ray on both sides. Um, you wanna go with hype defense on her so she don't die to an Escanor because she has low HP, but she has a lot of defense. But when you have a Escanor who using Pierce Ray and has high Pierce Ray. The de defense ain't gonna really matter as much, so just go with hype defense. Um, and then you probably don't even want to use attack anyways, since you're gonna be losing a lot of attack either way because you're running full pierce rate <laughs> for your team, and you want to run the full pierce rate because of Lilia passive, which she gives her, her pierce rate by half based upon her pierce rate. So if she has 111 pierce rate, she's gonna give everyone in your party 55% as long as she's alive, but you don't want her to die. And then we have Escanor, he's using Hype Defense. Um, I didn't really go act, attack defense UR on him. I just went Hype Defense UR. I kind of wanted for like CC abusing, but uh, yeah. But since I'm using half pierce rate, I'm gonna try to use attack food. How much would I have with attack food? 237. There's a lot of people in um, champion with a lot of 240k CC old teams. <sighs> Maybe I should use, um. Hype defense. I mean, not hype defense, but you know, HP food. How much would that give me? 243 KCC. That's pretty decent. Um, look at King. King almost at King got 204 HP. Oh my god, that's so busted. But all right, guys, let's have some fun in PvP. All right, man, what we got now? Uh, King Bath as well. He's using old food. Oh man, this this is gonna suck, isn't it? Let's try that. I mean, it wouldn't matter either way. And then a whole whole team sucks. I'm gonna have to throw the shield though. Too bad I didn't create his own lost vein. Hmm. Um, let me do this and that. Not like he can take gauge anyways. And he revived. So hopefully I kill off his lost fame that he owed us right there with this ult. Hmm. Cause he can't petrify my um my Escanor. And I made his king revive, so he's in a tough spot right now. So I have to make sure I kill, regardless. How much? How much? Um, hundred fifty-five. Do I think I'm gonna do that much damage? Oof. How much? I'm not fate old either, so. 
I guess I'll do that. Let's try that. Cause I'm really worried about Las Vegas Mayotas. Okay, Las Vegas Mayotas is dead. And now I have to stall out maybe King Oat. We'll try. Even though he's probably gonna stun my Lily in a minute. Oh yeah, wait, 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 hold up. If he doesn't go after my Eskinar, he's pretty messed up right now. Okay, he went for Eskinar, so he's gonna go for his ult. Throw up the shield so he can save himself from being hit with Pierce Rate. And he makes sure he doesn't get lose his gauge. Alright. I'm gonna do this. Um hopefully. Hopefully I don't die. So now he, he has to hope that his king ult is gonna kill my team off. Which is so good for me. Pretty much. Cause I don't think a blue king can just kill me off, especially when he's hype defense. You can barely kill off a lost fame Meliodas team. Yeah, as you can see, he's go for blue Demeli, which is probably a bad option. And then I'm gonna get rid of his shield. Actually, I don't have to worry about his shield now. I guess I'm gonna heal up my Lilia. And I guess I'll do that. So bye bye. So bye bye, King Bath. Well, Bath. Elizabeth. Uh, make sure I get some of my HP back. Except for Blue Demeli, who's going to die next turn. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that I have King in the back. He might think that I have Red King. Which is, uh, which is my win con. Technically. So if he kill off Blue Demeli, Eskinal going to get his card silvered. He's definitely going for old. Mm, so Blue Demelli is dead. He's gonna probably kill off Lilia. But I can kill off his, his king. Oh yeah, I'm definitely killing off his king. And then it's gonna be then it's gonna be my win, technically. He's gonna try to kill off my Eskimo though. As long as I get rid of his recovery and um, being able to um, take to petrify me, then I should be good. I should pretty much be good now. Um, that's a GG, my dude. Elizabeth ca clap. All right, guys, I won't spam Elizabeth clap. Even though he's using a toxic team, I won't spam it, guys. You guys dislike dislike bond us up crazy. I was like, wow. It was just a little game. It was a little troll. I wasn't seriously trash talking. GG. Yeah, GG, my dude. GG. One match though. He was a good player. All right, let's go, man. Oh my God, this is a red Gother. 445. Oh my God. And he's old. Wait, what? 245 and he's old food. What? What? What is this? What is this? This dude is 240. This dude is using high defense on everyone. He has to be using high defense on everything. What? What? 16. Oh my god. Jesus, dude. Oh my. Yeah, I'm lost. <laughs> this man is you are everyone. Oh my god. This ain't. Oh my god. This ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. This ain't it, Chief. Oh my God, yo, what is this? My man is 245 KCC. Bro, this is so dumb. Wait, was he old food? Let me see. Wait, wait. Yeah, he had two gauge. Bro, what the? What? But why? Can I do something with this? 
Oh my god, what are the odds you gonna stun me? And this is an AI, bro. 245, bro. He's gonna stun me, isn't he? Bro, this is a whole. Alright. So he's gonna try to go for recovery in a minute. Well he should. Or he's gonna risk losing. Oh my god, I need a blue Demelia attack guard. Oh my god, it's so dry. So if he stuns blue Lily, I'm, I'm gonna be dead to Las Vane. Hopefully he doesn't go for Las Vane ult. Don't go for Las Vane ult. Don't go for Las Vane ult. Don't go for it. I don't think he went for it. Mm. That's kind of a bad, bad move. Technically. What would stop me from doing this? Oh wait, wrong thing. Wait, what would stop me from doing this? Now I have ult on two units now. So now he has to figure out a way to um beat my blue Demeli and my Escanor from attacking. Don't forget to Escanor. Escanor can still do a lot of damage for to him. Is he gonna petrify again? Or he's gonna heal. Hmm. Okay. He might heal this turn though. He hasn't used any. Okay, that's interesting. Cause I did make him revive. So, wow, this is actually working. This is actually working. But he's not like a whale or anything. So, oh man. <laughs> All right.
less than 10k and i got another gold so i mean unless he stuns me then i'm pretty much good unless he stuns but ai have gotten super smart now you can't tell me nothing man ai has gotten to the point of annoying me all right can't really do much about this but this and that i don't really want to like, give up a card so let's force this revive and now we're good like look how the way this ai is just building up card i don't care what you guys say like if even if it's an ai like look at the look at the way he just built up his ult like come on now people are like yo it's an ai so what look at that man building up ult that stuff is toxic this is gonna be a last match too man because that stuff is toxic oh my god but it's just a bug like yo this does not matter this does not matter at this time wow that didn't kill well, i just wasted that And be like, yo, but it's a bot. It's a bot match. Dude, look at this AI. The AI just went for old crazy. The AI don't even go for the go for the type disadvantage no more. They usually go for the person who's the most dangerous, it seems. I have had that happen to me. Like the AI go like uh what? The Merlin goes for like asking I'll be like, what? When blue clean blue king is like right there, I'll be like, what? I don't even have to be having ult. I'm like, what is going on? AI has gotten super smart now. I feel like they fixed AI and PvP. Honestly, even though I'm even though I'm winning versus AI, I feel like they really fixed it. Made AI real toxic. But this is gonna be last match either way. And that should be game. GG, my dude. What a fun bot. But yeah, man, Pierce rate Super Awakening is really, really good, man. Oh my God, this stuff is super good. Oh man, too bad. Um, too bad that King Bath is just so disgusting in PvP. Like it's really hard to even use a real team or have fun in PvP because of you have to worry about loss, a crit and loss being Meliodas. You have to worry about um King Bath shield. You just have to, all these variables where you gotta worry about, man. And with Super Awakening, it made the team even more dangerous, in my opinion. Um, you do have some uh, sometimes where you can have like fun units. Like I had played PvP before, and someone had a coin bond. Like I was like, whoa, this is lit. They had a coin bond and lost Bay Meliodas, but it's a coin bond either way. But yeah, PvP has changed a lot, man. It's sometimes fun, but it's getting real well heavy. And I just don't know, man, anymore. But Thank you guys for watching, man. This is Murley, and I'm out. Peace.